But I did say, guys, on on Tuesday when everyone was getting carried away, what did I say to you lot? I said it was a nothing game. I said, yo, the, the tempo of the game was like a training match, yeah? Don't, don't take nothing from this game. Did I not tell you lot? And I'm sure there would have been comments, yeah, in my post-match thing saying that I'm negative and all these other things. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure there would have been... I didn't check the comments. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure there's going to be comments saying, oh, you're negative. Can't you just be happy? All right, cool. You know, and now we're losing, bruv. You know, like that. And I can't say that I didn't see this coming. So... It is what it is, man. We need a big dub. We need a big dub, bro. Do you know what I mean? We need to show... Um, we need to show these men that it won a flute last game. You know, like that. We need some big performances from some of the players that come back in the team because the performance um, earlier on in the week was closer to what a Manchester United performance should look like. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's one of them things where we need a performance similar to that, bro, or else we're going to have to start an inquest against certain players, blood. You see how we're, you see how now, because we got Rashford instead of Garnacho, yeah, how we're struggling to move the ball and create space. And what did I tell you guys before the game, yeah? And this is why I say, bro, like, listen, I analyse football, innit? Man ain't going to sit here and talk about transfer news, blood. Man going to analyse the game, yeah? You see how many players, yeah, Rashford draws towards him when he dribbles and takes extra touches, yeah? But then he doesn't release it. And that's why we're struggling to create chances. We created more chances when Garnacho was just getting the ball and just passing it inside. Like, that's it. Like, when you move the ball around, that's how you create space. That's how you open gaps in teams, bro. Instead of getting players that want to dribble all the time, bro. 1-0. Look at that. What a finish. What a finish, bruv. Oh, my days. It was coming as well. It was coming as well, bro. Look at that, bruv. United, bro. Soon as you go back to playing your favourites, blood, we're 1-0 down, bruv. Hey, bruv, look, what do I know anyway, bruv? I'm negative. I don't know nothing about football, bruv. I'm just here, blood, conning the public. You know what I mean? Like Marcus Rashford, bro. Oh, my days, bruv. What do I know? Anyway, blood, what do I know, blood? What a finish that is, by the way. What a finish that is by Anderson. Yeah. What a finish that is. Hey, li bruv, listen, man. That's bruv, that's not savable, blood. Let's let's not pretend, bro. That is not savable, blood. He slapped that in the bin, bro. That's one hell of a finish, bro. <laughs> Can't blame the keeper for that. You man are in hell, blood, if you're blaming the keeper for that. <laughs> bro, nah, bro. Nah. He's killing me. Like, that ball in from Rashford on the left foot. What was that, bro? That cross went out, yeah, to, to the right back, blood. Yeah, Anderson's my guy, bro. He's one of the best centre-backs in the league, bro. I don't know. People sleeping sleeping on his ability. I don't know how. He's a top centre-back. Yeah, big man thing is Bruno even playing. Man ain't seen this youth, you know. Since he gave the ball away at the beginning. Now, I don't eat fruit, bro, at the moment. I don't. Very, very rarely. Like, fruit shouldn't be eaten often. Like, fruit is seasonal. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever noticed when you go to supermarket and you get strawberries and they taste dead or watermelons taste dead? Because they're out of season, bruv. Like, when fruit are out of season, you shouldn't eat them, bruv. Man said loot and same play. Oh, my God. Same points as Chelsea. Hey, that's mad, you know. Hey, man, I forget Rashford out of here, you know. I'll be real. Man, forget him out of here, bro. I told man, this manager's way too stubborn. What did I say, bro? He's like, bro, he's too stubborn. He, he'll go out on his shield, you know. Because really and truly, yeah, it's like, bro, why did you have to bring Rashford and Bruno back into this team, yeah? The way we played without them, you didn't need to bring them back. But this is what I'm saying. Loads of these people, yeah, can put up with Rashford's nonsense, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But when Sancho's on here, man, I'm going to give him a hard time, bro. Honestly, I, I've never seen Sancho give the ball away as much as Rashford has in any game, ever. Like, since he's played for Man United, the worst game he's ever played for Man United, he hasn't given the ball away as much as Rashford gives the ball away. A man stay on his case, bro. And this is why I can't talk to these people, bro. I'll be real. 
Like, you know, Bruno, yeah, has lost the ball, yeah, more than any other player in this country in the Premier League since it started. Statistically, no one's given the ball away more. No one. Like, nobody, bro. This manager is killing me, bro. Like, hopefully he makes changes at half time because I can't lie, Bruno and Rashford haven't contributed. They haven't contributed. But I did say, guys, on on Tuesday when everyone was getting carried away, what did I say to you lot? I said it was a nothing game. I said, yo, the, the tempo of the game was like a training match, yeah? Don't, don't take nothing from this game. Did I not tell you lot? And I'm sure there would have been comments, yeah, in my post-match thing saying that I'm negative and all these other things. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure there would have been... I didn't check the comments. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure there's going to be comments saying, oh, you're negative. Can't you just be happy? All right, cool. You know, and now we're losing, bruv. You know, like that. And I can't say that I didn't see this coming. So... It is what it is, man. Bro, man don't care about the club like that, yeah, to the point where it's going to mask football for me, bro. Like, it's one of them ones. Like, I support Man United because my uncle supported Man United, bro. I grew up watching Man United. I grew up watching AC Milan in the 90s, bro. Like, those are my teams, bro. Like, it is what it is, bro. I just like football, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? It it could have been any team, like no matter who I supported, yeah, I would have still, I'd have still been football first, blood, and I'm football first, and that's all it will be, bro. Like these, a lot of these men only watch Man United. They don't know nothing about football. How can you know anything about football if you just watch one team, blood? Don't even make no sense, bro. Like man, I'll watch any football that's on, bro. I don't care. And that's the difference, blood. Like, bro, there were times where if there's no football on, I can't sleep at night. I'm watching flipping Aussie A-League, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't watch anything. And that's the difference. Like, these men just watch some high Premier League highlights and then they think that they're experts on football. They ain't got a clue, fam. They don't have a clue. And that's why when man was talking about our oh, 3 one, six, and the manager wants to do all this, it's just like, bro, like, no, fam. Like, what are you doing? I mean, all of this stuff's not going to work here. Yeah? This stuff is not going to work in the Premier League, bro. This nonsense that the manager's doing right now, bro. 3-1-6. Bro, get out of here. Just win the game, like. Do you know what I mean? Pep's literally gone back to 4-4-2, blood, and he's smoking teams. Man's playing Alvarez, yeah, in the 10, bro, because KDB's injured and it's working, bro. Like, you don't need to do this fancy stuff to win football matches, bro. But this is why I don't trust him. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, by the team, yeah, by the lineup that the manager puts out, that straight away tells me, yeah, whether I can trust them or not. Knowing, yeah, who your best players are is 100% the most basic thing. Bruv, you can win games on that alone, you know. You can win games on just knowing who your best players are, bro. Trust me, loads of managers have done it. Loads of managers have done it. You know what I mean? And this is why Arsenal fans will get frustrated when they're seeing Thomas Partey at right back. It's like, bro, that man know, yeah, that Thomas Partey, one, isn't a right back. Two, he's not your best right back. And three, he's your best midfielder. So why is he playing right back? You know, like that. And the thing is, if man end up not winning a trophy and Partey's playing right back, bro, the manager's got to go. Because that, bro, it's scandalous. What did I say about Hoyland, yeah, being able to head the ball and then he heads it straight at the goalkeeper? Who cares about training? Nothing is up for grabs in training. Well, exactly. But this is why I say, yeah, I don't really care about training, bro. A man, a man are trying to, trying to bust joke in the comments and that. Who cares about training, bro? Do you know what I mean? If you know who your best players are and you play your best players, it's not about training. It's about who performs in the games, who performs in the big moments when they're needed. That's all it means, bro. Like, training performance don't mean nothing, bro. You know the amount of guys I know, yeah, that look world-class in training, bro? I've seen some guys in training when the pressure's off here, yeah, they're unbelievable. But on match day, bro, hoofing everything, bro. And the lower you go down the leagues, yeah, in football, you see it all the time. Like, I watch a lot of non, a lot of non-league because I know people that play non-league, yeah. And when you see some of these players, they're dead. But, bro, in training, they look half decent. And when it comes to match day, everything's a long ball, blood. Everything's a long ball. Yeah, we're getting we're, we're getting moved to by Dead Palace. Listen, Corey, bro, at the end of the day, yeah, 
you've got to understand, yeah, that like fan bases in general, yeah, tend to favour the, the players that they can relate to, innit? These men can't relate to Martial. That's why they cook him. They can't relate to Sancho, blood. A lot of these guys have bought into the, the romantic Rashford thing. Like, bro, this is the same fan base that tried to turn on Casemiro, bro, after a few bad games, even though Casemiro is our most accomplished player in our team alongside um, Varane. And these men were even trying to blame Casemiro for things. And I was thinking, hold on a minute. If you're trying to throw Cass under the bus, yeah, how am I supposed to take anything you say seriously, bro? Really? Like, if there's any player, yeah, that is borderline above criticism is Casemiro, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? And if he's not playing well, I'll say he's not playing well. But I'll always defend him. I'll always defend him because I know his abilities. But these men tried to turn on Casemiro but while championing Bruno. Come on, bro. This fan base is actually... Like, one of the most, like, I mean, man, man's trying to be politically correct and not trying to get demonetized, so man have to be careful what I say. Bro, we're getting outplayed by Crystal Palace, bro. Like, we're having loads of the ball, but not doing nothing. And guys, this is what happens, yeah, when you want to play this robotic football, yeah, that this manager wants to play. Just get loads of guys that run a lot, put them on the pitch, yeah. No one with any finesse, with no guile, yeah. This is what happens. You come up against low brocks and you get stifled, bro. This is exactly what happens, bro. This is why you need your Donny van der Beeks, you need your Martials, you need your Ericsons, you need your Sanchos, you need your players that have actual quality, bruv. Instead of all of these robots, bro, that just run up and down the grass, blood, and pass the ball sideways. Because when it comes to winning games, blood, these are the players that are going to win games for you, the talented players, bro. When I see a manager, yeah, that don't rate the talented players in my team, yeah, it, it, bro, it rings off alarm bells, fam. That's what it does. Because, bro, in football, there's certain things you can teach players and there's certain things you can't teach players, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And the qualities that the players have that I named, you cannot teach these things. <laughs> I said 10 lasso, blood. Man said... <laughs> hey, man said 10 lasso, blood. Hey, bro, what is this? Man said 10 lasso, blood. Hey, I'm dead. This is funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man said 10 lasso, bruv. Hey. 10 lasso, blood. Hey, we're finished, blood. Man said. Man said Eric 316, blood. 10 lasso, blood. <laughs> Man said Kansas ball, blood. 316 and that. Oh, my days. That is flipping funny, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I said a Kansas Red Hawks and that, bro. Hey, we are finished. We are actually done out here, bro. Hey, bro. Listen, there's too many names, blood. 10% hog, bro. Man, I said Rance told these guys midweek don't celebrate. Palace manager's done a job on... Bruv? I, bruv, I did tell, man. I told, man, bro. Man, don't want to listen to me, bro. I don't know nothing, bro. I'm just a negative guy. You know the ones there, bro. All my years of researching other sports that aren't football, yeah, puts me in a position to see stuff that other people can't see, blood. So, boy, good for them. You know, like that. These men are going to tell me about big chances created and XG and all that after the game to say that we are unlucky and that. Good for these, man. Bro, bruv, Sanchez winning the war, blood. I've been, but listen, I told man, Sancho going to win the war, blood. This bear has not got the team behind him. There's no way, blood. Not playing like this.